Hi guys, in this video I'll go over pointers with structs. And the steps that I'm going to follow is first I create an instance of the struct that I have defined below here. Then I create a pointer that points to the struct that I created in step one. Then I create a pointer to a new instance. And finally, in step four and five, I demonstrate how to access members using the two member selection operators. So let's start out by creating an instance of a struct. So the data type is the point, and then I call this I call this instance point. I initialize it with x to 4 and y to 3. And next I create a pointer to this struct. So point star. The star represents the pointer to a point instance. And then I use the address of operator to my point variable. So this is the variable here I created. This is my instance. I have the variable. I want to get the address of it. So I use the address of operator before. This gives me the address of where it is located in memory. And I assign the address to the PTR variable. So assign address of point to PTR. And then I can use the pointer. Now, this is step two here. Then step three, create a pointer to a new instance. So what I do here is I define or I declare a pointer to a point. I call this pointer two. And now I call new the type and on close parentheses. So this creates a new instance. The new actually allocates memory. This is to initialize everything. And then it the new operator returns the memory address and I store that in the PTR2 variable. So these are two pointers. Now let's move on to how we can access the member variables. So this is step four access member variables using the arrow operator. So let's do this with um, PTR here. So I do PTR instead of the dot, because I know it's a pointer, I use the arrow. And then I can use X and Y. Here I get the suggestions already for the member variables, let's say, I have x and I want to add 2 to it. And then I access y as well. And I assign 15 to this. So this went to update the two member variables. So let's output this. So I have PTR x and the other one is y and when i run this and output it i should get six because initially it was four i incremented two so x is x added two and i get six and y i just assigned to 15. now because this is a pointer that points to this variable um, I have two variables here, but there's only just a single instance, right? We only have the instance point here. This one is really just a variable that stores the address to it. So there's no other point. So what I could do as well is I could use my point variable to point.x and then I output point.y and when I run this, I would see those values are exactly the same. So I have one typo here, fix that. Let's run this again and see these are six and 15 as well because there's only this 
this single instance of the struct that we created. This one really is just a pointer to, to this instance. So here I demonstrated how to use the error operator whenever we work with a pointer to a struct. What we can do instead as well, it's not as nice, but it's, it's possible. What, since we know this is a pointer, we can just use the regular pointer logic. We can dereference the pointer first by doing star ptr. Now we dereferenced it, we went to that location. So we now we are at the instance. And since we know we are, are already at the instance, we just use the dot. So dot x, and let's just assign a to it. And here I do star to dereference the pointer. Now we are at that object. We do dot y, and we can do anything else here as well. Let's just multiply it by two. And I'll output the two values. Again, they should now be 8 and 30. So first one we assigned to 8. The second, the, the y member variable, the value we duplicate, we, we doubled. So it's 30. So I hope this makes sense to you. Thank you for watching.